You right, everyone? It's Ace Ray from Romany Custom Catapults. <clears throat> so I've got a little hotshot build to show you all here. For some reason, I I've seemed to build more hotshots now than any other build. Like I've got, I think, six on the table at the minute. But this one is well overdue for someone. Uh, it is a hotshot mini. Now, looking at it in the video, it just looks like a regular hotshot unless you really know your hotshots. But when you get closer and you see the size of my hand, you can see it's quite small i think there's still got 22 mil tips on it which is quite substantial uh i think it's about 65 mil 66 mil wide something like that this build is a five layer laminate six mil black g10 core one mil white g10 liners three mil carbon faces wavy carbon faces really happy with how the the carbons came out i put brass pins on it uh with a nice has that got a fingerprint i believe it has that needs to be wiped over. Uh, yeah, they're mirror finish. See my reflection in them. Brass pins, 4mm. A carbon lanyard pin with brass tube lining it. Now, this build is built for a friend of mine, for his little lad that became a father, I believe, in January or maybe December. I think it was January. And he said I'd like a catapult for my little lad for his first catapult. Obviously, he's not going to be using a catapult for around about the next three years maybe four but say three years at, at the very most so when he does pick a catapult up i mean in all fairness this is probably a little bit too good for him to pick up uh, i'm sure his dad wouldn't want to see him damage it but nevertheless it's his first catapult and what a stunner it is it's small so it'll suit a little boy's hands the outer width and whatnot doesn't really make a difference his dad will put light bands on and he'll shoot plastic ammo i'm guessing uh which would be the best move anyway um, I went with wrap and tuck rather than clips because I think every young lad when they first start shooting catapults should be able to get to grip with wrap and tuck. They, I mean, it'll be a bit young to learn, but young boys should learn how to do wrap and tuck. They should learn how bands pull over the top away from uh, the knot. So basically they pull over the, the tip. You all know what I'm on about if you know catapults. The bands pull over towards you. So things like that you need to teach a young lad when he starts on his catapult journey. So for me, wrap and tuck first and then move on to clips. I prefer clips. They're much simpler. They're much better. They're probably much better to teach a young lad with. They're a lot easier, but learn the basic fundamentals first. So that's why I did wrap and tuck. And his dad knows how to, to wrap and tuck pretty decent as well. So he's a good shot. But yeah, put the brass pins in, kept it classy, ambidextrous build, flat tips. Colour scheme wise, I thought about different colours, but boys being boys, kids being kids, they see certain colours, they don't like it. If I made it in blue, he's likely to get it and go, I don't like blue, Dad, when he gets old enough. Or it could be, I don't like red, yellow. Colours are dicey to go with. I mean, a, a child can tell you they like yellow one day and not the next. So I went with just... A classy colour scheme of black and white with some classy pins in it. When he gets old enough to appreciate this build, hopefully he'll still have it in his collection or arsenal, he'll look at it and he'll see it as a really classy piece to own as his first catapult. So yeah, that's uh, that's my way of thinking. Let me know what you think. Did I do the right thing colour-wise? Uh, should I have put some colour in it or should I have been brave? I don't know. His dad didn't ask for anything in particular. Like I say, black, white, carbon, brass. It's all classy. It looks really good. And uh, yeah, I'm over the moon with it. But I'll just show you the size once again. As you can see, it's a small build. But it's also a small build that I could shoot without any hindrance whatsoever. A really good, dangerous little pocket shooter to plink cans with or whatnot. Or if you can get to grips with a narrow build, uh, it's like a pickle fork kind of width, I suppose, really. Uh, maybe a bit wider. Pickle fork should be around 60 mil. Uh, well, there's no actual set size for a, a, a pickle fork. We've gone through these things before, but yeah, around about 60 is, is the go-to for them, I suppose, without cheating. So yeah, it's a little bit bigger. It's just a small frame. So yeah, let me know what you think of the, the Hot Shot Mini. Cheers all. Thanks for watching.